night to you and welcome to TNTV. I am your host, USA Today bestselling author, Olivia Gaines, and I'm here with my library pals from the Augusta Richmond County Public Library System. Ladies, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm one of the librarians here at the Augusta Richmond County Public Library System, and I'm an outreach assistant, and I'm really looking forward to talking about this book. Hello, I'm Georgina Lewis, your favorite librarian in training. Awesome. Today we're diving into a period piece by Carrie Greenwood. This is the first installment in her Franny Fisher mystery series, and this is Cocaine Blues. You can check out the book from the shelves under Fiction GRE or watch the series on Acorn TV under your Amazon Prime membership. I watched the episode and I read the book, but I don't want you to take my word for it. That's why I have friends with me to discuss whether or not was the book better. Carol, you're a big fan of the series, so you'll go ahead and kick it off and tell us your thoughts. Well, my thoughts are they, they both have strengths, of course, um, and both of the book and the series managed to keep that, that 20s glamour, which I think is, is so enticing. You can imagine all these wonderful things in your head, and, you know, and, and, the, and the costumes and the, and, the, and the people, and I think they do a good job of translating that to the screen. Um, obviously, they have a few characters in the series that are not in the books, but I don't think it hurts anything either way. So I'd say this is a fairly reliable adaptation of a book. That's always good to hear. That's always good to hear. I did love in watching the series and seeing everything come to life. Um, I think the book delves a little bit deeper on the on the drug usage than the series did because the series kind of glazed over it uh because kind of starting off watching it it was slow yeah they had to they had to do all that prep to introduce you to all the characters and yeah. which you, i think you can do faster when you write okay mm, i don't know so i feel like i'm always the book person i'm always like the book is so much better and I think it's just because I like more detail. Um, I was the whole part about Lydia and everything and, and Sasha and all those things. I liked all those, you know, long stretched out scenes in the book. But like you guys said, it was really interesting to see like how they kept within the period piece. I love the costumes and different things like that. I thought the costumes were so neat, and I think they picked the perfect Friday for that series. Okay, because I, I did, I did love her character. I love the strengths of the character, and how even it was in the twenties, she was so independent. And to see her, um, the really pretty guy that was the actor, to see that scene unfold for the twenties was a little bit risque. What, what, do you, what did you guys think? Oh, I think they did a good job of being risque for any period, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why do you say that, Carol? Your imagination's working over time in the book and in the movie series. It, it doesn't take a lot to get you going where they want you to go. Yeah. Right. Some of the language in the book, uh, with it being... Um, the twenties in London. Um, no, we're in, we're in Sydney. We're in Australia. Australia. We're in Australia. That's right. <laughs> oh, that is right. Because she came from London, <laughs> trying to find the guy who killed her sister. Is that is that what it was? Yeah, that's the that's the that's the movie. Yeah, that's the series. Wow. In the in the book, what it was is that. Franny got picked up by Lydia's parents, essentially. And they were just like, we think our daughter's being poisoned. At least that's what she's sending us. So can you go investigate? And okay. so that's why she goes down there. Okay. Did anybody find it? I, I know, I know, I know. What I really loved about this was that the bad guy was a woman. Yeah, you didn't see that come until the very end. I yeah. saw it coming. I saw it. You saw, you saw you that coming? Free. There were enough clues to let you know. Because um, the whole thing with the tea. Mm -hmm. she, uh, they're having tea in the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. And she's taking her tea black. 
versus when she was having tea with the husband, she had t sugar in her tea. Oh, I see. Uh, I didn't yeah. Because she ended up with a bit of the poisoning herself, but not enough to kill her like it killed him. Mm -hmm. And then the girl being uh, needed to see the specialist, the doctor, oh. to alleviate her problem. And when it starts out in the TV series, you have the maid, what's her name, Margaret? Dorothy. Dot. 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 Dorothy. Dot is handing the girl a pair of knitted booties for uh, the baby. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it, was, it, was just, it was a lot of little clues going on there. Okay, I ain't pick up none of them clues. Maybe I still wrapped up in Franny and her driving this sports car and dancing with fashionable men and such. Maybe I was just caught up in that because I was like, I didn't see no clues that told me it was going to be Lydia, but I think that maybe had I paid attention, I would pick up on that. But Franny herself was just so interesting. Like, Jeez. Franny drives, you know, for her for the time here, you know, Franny's out here driving fast cars and, you know, she's out here being a free woman and such. Yes, and yes. It, it's great. And then you have the lady doctor. And I just was, I, I loved all of those parts. So I guess I kind of just missed some of those little clues and hints and things like that. I don't pay no attention to Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, what do you think? I think the series made a point of giving you all of these interesting characters. The, the female doctor dressed like a man, that's telling yeah. you a lot. The actor, you can tell that he probably walks on both sides of the party. Because him in the alleyway and the guys wanting to chase him and beat him up because they're thinking maybe he's in the alleyway selling something or himself, you know? Yeah. So that was kind of a clue as well. <laughs> okay, I, so, I guess I watched the series completely different than everybody else. Yeah, I think I think we got caught, got caught up in all, as I said, we got caught up in all the glamour that's yes. inherent in both the book and the series. Well, let's talk a little bit about the glamour because there was a lot mm. of it. Um, go ahead, Miss Carol. Well, I think it's a lot like Georgina said. I mean, you get caught up with her that she's driving the fast cars and living the high life and having her cocktails and, you know, going to fancy parties. It's, it's, it's just a different life than anything you'd live day to day. And yet it seemed to be routine for her which i think is another thing that that you get you kind of try to imagine what would it be like to have this routine life that that's so and the IUD fancy. under the bed hmm? the iud under the bed well you got to keep it someplace now don't you <laughs> franny had a whole kind of right where you need it <laughs> Well, this is, she had a whole gun and stuff out here. That was nothing for me by that point. I was just like, okay, you know. I was I was taken aback by it. I was like, oh, that's a, and and I, I was like, dot like, what's this? <laughs> what's it right now? <laughs> you know, because I was I was taken aback, and I'm like, they had those back then. Oh yeah, yeah, even yeah. farther back than that. Uh -huh. Because Franny, history. Franny is living her best life. She really is. She is. Yeah. I love that about Franny. Like, <laughs> Franny was great. Franny wasn't letting anybody, nobody hold her down. And I think what was really interesting is like, um, obviously, I guess people were just like, oh, you know, Franny needs to settle down and all this stuff. So Franny's like, I ain't marrying nobody. Like, like I'm out here. Well, give up all of this? Like, <laughs> I'm solving crimes and you know little I loved in the book how they had like little quotes at the beginning of each chapter mm -hmm. um, from like different pieces of work and different things like that and like just Franny just watching her just like oh one of the parts I think where she was supposed to be dressing up and different things like that it's just like oh adventurers you know they're born not made and stuff <laughs> I was like, like you go Franny like like, who else would, like, just be like, oh, sure. Um, yeah, I'll go investigate, you know, about your daughter. And while I'm going, I'm going to have me a darn good time. I'm going to stay at the best hotel, you know, yep. to buy 
to law, but she also has street smarts from the time when she wasn't wealthy. Right. Right. You know, and she's candid about it. You know, she's just like, yeah, I was poor and now I'm rich. And I mean, I enjoy being rich. Like, <laughs> you know, like, with, yeah, no apologies. Like, right. None no whatsoever, Miss Carol. None. And it was great. I was just like, go Franny. That's right. <laughs> okay. You mentioned the quotes at the beginning. At the beginning of chapter one, we'll go like the center of sea green pomp upon her irretrievable way. From the paltry new starts on a voyage. Okay. <laughs> and then I think uh, chapter two, she said, My life is dreary, dreary. Would God that I was dead. Mariana from Tennyson. Well, I think that's that's totally the opposite of Franny, but she is going in the book through kind of a bored period, like, you know, what should I do? Should I keep on? With these activities that I really don't like. So she's reaching out to Australia as something to break up her routine. And, and she breaks it up in, in a big way. Yeah. In, in a big way. But she's not a woman who likes to stay bored. She's definitely, you can tell that Friday is really smart. She's a thinker. She's a mover and a shaker. You know, she's young. Yeah, and she's just like, I'm not going to sit here all day where they're trying to marry me off and maybe go to these boring old teas and stuff like that. I need some excitement. Even at the teas and the parties and stuff that she's at, if she gets bored, she moves on to the next thing. She's just like, mm -mm, this conversation ain't it. Um, so where's the food at? Okay. Where's the food coming? Okay, the food ain't Oh, this food bad. Oh, my gosh. Let me find some entertainment. Let me say something. And even in one of the, I can't remember what chapter it was, but She's there at the dinner and she's just like, usually she says something exciting <laughs> to kind of like rile people up to make things more interesting. So you just can tell like Australia and stuff like that was much needed for her. But for the quotes, the quotes kind of let you know what's kind of going to happen in a chapter. And it's not yeah. always about Franny. That's another thing. Like sometimes you could think about like if Lydia is in a particular chapter or if they focus a little bit on dot, like it just kind of gives you like a heads up, like this is something maybe to pay attention to. I, I love that. I love that, that view of that because when you're looking at the show and she grabs the most gorgeous man in the room and she just starts to do this tango in the middle of the floor. It's kind of like your friend from college and everybody's sitting around talking and they just start doing the worm in the floor. And you're like, what are you doing? Just well, sit down, Georgie. What are you doing? And Friday's kind of like that, you know? She's got this dress with this all open with this showing all this leg. And, you know, flappers had this thing that came all the way down to almost their ankle. And here she is doing a tango, raising her legs up in the air and her aunt is sitting there just totally mortified, like, <laughs> clutch the pearls, <laughs> you know. Mm. Carol, what do you think? I miss the aunt. The The aunt isn't in the book, but I, I love her in the in the show because she's she's this foil for Friday because the, the aunt is everything that's proper and, and sedate and there's Friday. very traditional and, and she's got this niece that's just a hot ball of fire but she, st she still manages to love her anyway even though she's shocked like every 57 seconds I mean I feel a couple it, times I was kind of shocked with Franny myself kind of like <laughs> <laughs> but I think in the book you didn't really need the aunt just because everything that was going on around Franny everything from the maid died to Lydia and everyone else was was what was prim and proper like you could kind of feel it and read it in the book and in the show I think it was more of like well we need it's a lot of chaos going on we need a, a character that essentially represents all of this and I think the aunt like you said was a great addition because she's like Friday! <laughs> it's just like Friday like she's like Friday you can't go out there alone and Friday's like I got a gun I'm going out there <laughs> I'm fine. Like, <laughs> I'm like, Friday, where did you get a gun? Where did you get a gun? You know, and, and, and one of the things that I think that I really loved was the young lady who had the botch procedure and mm -hmm. the guy that stayed at her side, even though he didn't know her. I thought that was sweet. Yeah. It was so great. Like, it was so great. Like I did enjoy in the book and in the show. Like I really enjoyed it in the book. It was like she's just like you feel sorry for me. Mm -mm, I'm not gonna. 
I missed him one time. I ain't going to miss him no more. It's yeah. just like, come back in six months, and he's not perturbed by that at all. And I was just like, that's what I like. Good yeah. job. Good job. Yeah. And the thing is, everybody knew that uh, Lydia's husband was a cad. And he just, it didn't matter what the girls looked like. They could have been unattractive women. I think he still would have just done what it is that he does. Oh, yeah. 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 It's the thrill. Yeah, he it's doesn't have thrill. any redeeming qualities. Bless his little heart. And he was stupid on top of it with money. I ain't like that. I'm just like, yeah. He, he, was doing, he was doing a little know. too much. Right. <sighs> She was doing way too much and she was trying her best to because Lydia, you know, she made a point of saying that, you know, my family lost everything, you know, and your family gained everything. So I've got to kind of rebuild and I don't need to be rebuilding with him. But the lady who ran the brothel or the or the bathhouse, Turkish you bath. could tell. Yeah, the Turkish bath that they were in cahoots because why would you have this woman of seedy or ill in your home having tea amongst the I will say I think one slight flaw I guess you could say I would pick out is that I do like how I do prefer I think book Lydia okay. to show Lydia book Lydia it kind of seemed like um, she was like this intelligent intelligent young lady but just had the mind of kind of like a kid versus like the series Lydia which was very much like an adult who had like this like I'm gonna do crime and different things like that and I think it's just because the series didn't want to touch on the touchier things that came with Lydia in the book um and so I think they changed that up I mean it was a good, it wasn't like an awful change or nothing but it definitely was a noticeable change especially if you're reading the book and jumping right into the series so all in all i say definitely enjoy both i think if this is an introduction you will love both okay so on a scale of one to five teacups ladies how many teacups do you give cocaine blues four and a half because i'm four always and mean and i never give them all okay <laughs> georgina the series gets probably about three, and the book gets five. And I would do the reverse. I would give the TV series a four, and I'd give the book probably three and a half. Um, enjoyable. Enjoyable. Worth checking out. Um, and again, you can find the books on the shelves at, at, the, at the Augusta Richmond County Public Library under Carrie Greenwood and it's Cocaine Blues. Mm -hmm. And you can watch the show on Amazon Prime on Acorns TV um, and look and I, for Franny Fisher Mystery. In the library too. So You have it in the library? As well? it's, it's on the shelves in the library as well? I'm not sure which season, but I think we've got some. Okay. Ladies, this was a great discussion. Next month, we are talking about Good Omens. And that is, I think it's on Amazon Prime as well. So come back and definitely mm -hmm. join us again as we talk about Good Omens and we watch the series, which I absolutely love. <laughs> okay. For TNTV, I am USA Today bestselling author, Olivia Gain. Ladies. <laughs> Bye, folks. <laughs> What's your names again, please? <laughs> okay. Uh, bye. I'm Carol. It was good to talk to y'all. Hope you had fun. Here's the library in trading. <laughs> For TNTV, we'll see you next month and we'll see you in the show. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.